Civilization VI is a very complicated game. In fact, if you had the pleasure of playing this game, it becomes apparent quite quickly that there are a lot of choices to make. Where should I put this district? What does a district even mean? What is a district? What is this warrior with a club? So not only is it this tough for you, imagine trying to program a computer to play against. You realize it gets quite tough quite quickly. So one of the things I'm trying to tackle right now is to build a machine learning algorithm to control the combat in Civilization VI. And this algorithm I made is quite strong right off the bat. It's still in its early stages of development, so it's not like this, but a little bit more like this. But let me show you how it looks. In the background, you are looking at a machine learning algorithm designed to take over a city in Civilization VI as efficiently as possible. Since it is currently not possible to implement this into the real game, I had to recreate a game using its own rules to train this algorithm. Each time the game responds, Otto, Finn, and Victor have a random starting location and must make their way to Rocktopia to take it over for a delicious rock sandwich or whatever golems eat. So let's see where this all began. Here we are, back in the world of Civilization VI in a brand new game, all set with that new game smell. To me, this is one of the most exciting parts of the game. Your imagination runs wild with possibilities. Who will I take over? What technologies will we discover? Who are our neighbors and will we get along? But then reality sets in quite quickly. You have two starting units here and you need to first decide where you're gonna settle your city. We then have to analyze our surroundings and make some seemingly difficult decisions. What technology should we go for? What units should we build? And it all depends on the initial input terrain. If you are a civilization veteran, these decisions can come quite easily. Now imagine that you need to program a computer to make all these decisions and have the game fun for the player. That is quite a tough job if you ask me. So putting machine learning into Civilization VI is not a new idea. Machine learning is currently, well, it's uh, pretty much put into everything. You can even download the reinforcement learning infrastructure for Civilization IV to interface with the Civilization IV SDK and game to run and evaluate different reinforcement learning algorithms and learn AI strategies. This was published in 2009. That was 11 years ago. But being an individual programmer who's not actually good, <laughs> I decided to focus our efforts down to one single thing, and that is combat. The AI struggles to take over cities. They often need to send wave after wave of units at the city just to take it over. For example, let's quickly look at a recent game where I played as Byzantium. Here, we are on DD, turn 22. Korea just declared war on us, and we have a total of two defensive units. Korea has two warriors that are currently visible. I know they have another two in queue, and they have a slinger, which is a range unit, and they have the galley in the ocean. I've taken over a city with a single unit before. But here's the kicker. I know they have another galley to the right by their capital. And this is pretty much game over for me. Just two galleys is just enough to take over a city quite easily. However, they fail to take over the city. I mean, to be fair, I know how to defend the city. 
but <coughs> just don't watch, you know, older gameplay videos <laughs> that I've done in the past. Oh, we lost it. We lost it. We lost. We lost our capital. Let's just ignore that game. But we can say the combat it can be kind of a mixed bag at times. So I decided to do something about it. First try. <laughs> Just kidding. Whoa, look at all those red things. Oh, that has been my life this past few months. So this is the game that I kind of wrote for the machine learning algorithm. Let's get down to the main game here. Spectacular graphics. This is the bare bones original pie game interface that I watch game after game after game trying to debug the code, and how different algorithms were formed. Of course, I turned off Reiner while actually training the algorithms. I'm not, I'm not crazy or anything like that. But I spent a ton of time learning how to use Blender to make animations that you saw earlier. Let's just transition to that. Not like you'll miss my beautiful grass texture or otters with swords or ottertopia. What is that, sticks? These are otters, not beavers. Oh man. Speaking of algorithms, I tried out a few prior to making this video. First, I started with Q learning, which basically involves a matrix for each possible state. So for example, if we take a basic example of this grid and we have one player, one city, that would be an eight by eight by two matrix. But once we start adding more and more units, if we add one more unit, it'd be eight by eight by three, add another unit, eight by eight by four. If we add a player strength, player health, city strength, city health, the matrix gets huge. It just doesn't work. It's just too big. <laughs> so I kind of just threw that out and it, cause there's just a better way. It is called reinforcement learning. Specifically, dueling deep Q networks is what you see here. I'm not going to get into all the details about the specific dueling aspect of the algorithm, but basically you give the algorithm an observation, the computer takes an action, then you give it a reward. Fun, right? If we think about our situation here, the primary goal of the algorithm is to take over the city. So we have three units, they must move next to the city, attack it to take it over. But there is a catch. The city can heal each turn unless all three units are next to the city. So the observations that I gave the algorithm are basically the distance normalized, the DX, DY, or horizontal or vertical position, they are away from the city for each unit as well as the unit health and city health. You can even add things like city strength, unit strength, range combat strength and all that stuff in the future, but we just kind of started out with something pretty basic to begin with. But for the rewards, those are the best things. Those are the things that the computer loves. You give it a positive reward for a good action, such as capturing the city, and you give it a negative reward or a bad reward for undesirable actions, such as losing a unit. This algorithm is working quite well but I definitely think there's room for improvement, especially if you want to get to a more realistic situation. Earlier I said, we're just focusing on the combat. So if you imagine we have some sort of brain here that's controlling all of the AI's actions, you have a small section for city placement, for trading, for missionary span, trolling level, and combat. But what I think would be best in the future is actually split up into combat and have something control just melee units just range units, siege units, AI units, and then have another algorithm control that. But that is something for the future. 
If you'd like to discuss the future of this algorithm, maybe you're much better at machine learning, feel free to leave a comment below or just join the Discord, link in the description of this video. But I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.